All right, you got too many new direct visits to pages other than your homepage. Let's take a second to peel this one apart. This is one of the best kept secrets of data quality detection error, de detection issue detection in all of analytics. So let's break this apart a little bit. The way we're supposed to interpret direct traffic is people who type that URL directly into their browser or who bookmark it and come back directly. They don't come from a Google search. It's not a referral from another referring site. It doesn't come from a campaign. The direct bucket is the catch-all bucket for Google Analytics. So Google Analytics does a couple checks when it looks for attribution. It says, do we have UTM parameters? Do we have an auto tag campaign from Google Ads? Do we have a refer? We have none of those things. We have no other option but to call this thing direct. So that means that we should be thinking about direct visits of people who type the URL in a bookmark it. For new visitors, they haven't bookmarked it yet. So things that look like URLs that people wouldn't have typed into their browser by memory or knowledge, that's mostly not your homepage. Those things are almost never actually direct. When they show up in the direct bucket, it means that you're missing some of that information from somewhere, the refer, or the UTM parameters, or the auto tagging or something. So. Some of you are going to hear that and go, yeah, yeah, but Mike, I'm, uh, I, I'm in higher education and a lot of people come to our, our login page just to log in and they come from different devices. It's not always the same device and so it shows up as new visitors direct. I would say to you, if that's being mixed in with your production marketing prospect data, it's the same problem because the people who are coming to log in who are already students are not the people you're trying to market to. And if you're trying to make assessments on what's working in marketing and mixing in all of those existing students to the behavior data from all of those people that you're trying to market to, you're muddying up the waters and you can't see it anyway. So if that's the case, then you need a segment. And there's great ways to do this, to create a segmentation between existing visitors even if they come in on new devices and their new marketing prospect visitors. So if you have, if you want to talk about that, we can definitely one of the biggest keys to making those things work is getting the data into BigQuery. So if you don't have your GA4 to BigQuery connection turned on, turn that on now, pause the video, do it immediately. If you need help doing it, contact us. We can help you get that in place. It's super quick, very cost effective. Um, so that's, that's the way this happens now. What the way to the way to resolve this is you look at that list of pages that are not the home page, and you go, where do I know that those are used? Are they in some campaign someplace? Is it a specific language page? Is it from email? Now the ways that this can go wrong, this is like an onion layer problem. This catches a lot of problems at once, and you usually have to fix a thing, let some more data come in, fix another thing, let some more data come in. But here's a few of them that come up redirects that strip UTM parameters. So you have a campaign that points to, you know, an email or something that points to a landing page, but the link in the email is an HTTP link instead of an HTTPS link. And when they load that page, your site redirects them to the secure version of the page. But when it does, it doesn't include the UTM parameters in that redirect. That gets solved by looking at the server configuration files or the redirect settings in your content management system if you're using WordPress or something. So the ways you resolve that are kind of tricky, but that's one way you can lose UTM parameters. Here's another way. You can have visitors that come from emails or from apps that have links that point to your site that are not uh, that are not UTM tagged. When that happens, they don't look like refers because they didn't come from an existing browser session where they show an existing open web page, the refer. They came from an email client, which most people look at their emails in an email client, unless it's Gmail, but most of your, you know, your Outlook or you're on a mobile app, you're, you don't have a refer when you open a link in an email and it doesn't have UTM parameters on it. Now you show up as a new, potentially new direct visitor to a home, to a page other than the home page. So those are some of the common ways this happens. There's a, there's a bunch more weird things that go on. And, and usually this is a step-by-step -step solution. Sometimes you have to like, you make a fix, you see how much it changes, you make another fix, you see how much it changes, you test a bunch of different user experiences. We've done almost as many as there could possibly be ways for this to, to go wrong. The investigations usually do take a, you know, a little bit of time to figure out, but if you have issues with this and you're concerned about it, or you wanna talk about segmenting the traffic so that you can really distinguish your marketing prospects, Call us. We've got tooling and ways to get this done quickly and get you back to operating and getting insights and learning and testing faster and trusting your data more. We'd love to talk about this more. This one's super interesting. Thanks.